basically, um, I want to do an elevator speech for you guys inside a Chinese elevator because the best way to introduce yourself is as quickly as possible and um, basically um, inside an elevator. So um, come with me. Um, I shouldn't be shy. Um, especially as a foreigner in China, you kind of feel like uh, uh, this sense of freedom because no matter what, I'm going to be stared at, so why not do whatever I want? Um, I could be purple and still be looked at. Um, so, okay, my name is uh, Joey Ellis, um, or Joey Foster Ellis. Actually, my Chinese name is uh, Zhou Yi. Um, it, it means actually the Yi Ching in um, Chinese. So when I make reservations for dinner, I'm always saying like Zhou Yi, table of five, which basically means the table of five for um, the I Ching, which is a great thing to get any type of reservation you want in China because they're like, oh my god, you must be very important. Um, so anyway, uh, my Chinese name uh, actually means uh, it's Zhou, like Zhou Lai Zhou, and Yi like Rong Yi Yi. So Zhou means, uh, uh, can, be, can mean a week, and um, uh, Yi, uh, Rong Yi Yi can mean easy, so I'm somewhat of an easy week. Um, and every time when people are walking down the street and talking about Monday, it also means Monday too. Um, I'm like, oh, my name, my name. Um, so anyway, um, in Chinese, uh, because so many things sound the same, uh, you basically have to say what that, um, where that name comes from, where, what part of a word does that make up. So, oh my God, we're already on the 23rd floor. Okay, we have to go back down and I need to continue talking, okay? We're having this amazing conversation in the other. Okay, so, um, so in English, I like to say this, introduce my name to Chinese people, I like to say that I'm Joey. Um, uh, Joey like the baby kangaroo, uh, uh, Foster like the beer, Ellis like the island. Okay, so basically I am uh, was born in America, but made in China. And uh, I've been in China for about uh, seven uh, years. So basically I got into art uh, originally by wanting to become a chef. And, um, and then I got into ceramics and I realized that I wanted to, oh my God, we're on the first floor again. Okay, let's go back up. Um, basically, uh, uh, I, wanted, I decided to make what you eat off of instead of what you eat. And so I started my life out in, in, about function, about things to use. And I think my work has always uh, had that, uh, that aspect to it. Um, basically, um, what do I do? Well, uh, China became this home for me, and I think I, 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 I tried to live the American dream there. And I'm still doing it, but who knows? I mean, uh, um, oh, let me give you my uh, business card, okay? Because this is a little bit about what I do in my work. It's actually um, turns into a puzzle. Uh, you can actually uh, write like that. And uh, because, in my opinion, I think name cards should be more than just name cards, and, and puzzles should be more than just puzzles. Um, it's a uh, it's actually this ancient um, Chinese puzzle um, <coughs> called a qi chao ban. And a qi chao ban is made from seven different parts. And actually, within these seven different parts, you can make 6.3 million different configurations. Incredible. Uh, I think it kind of is like this. Um, it shows, in some sense, that you can do so much with so little. And I think a lot of the time with my work, I try to do that. Um, so, oh wait, and uh, I have one more thing. So sometimes when I meet people, I give them a present. And um, uh, this is something I always say. So um, this is actually, this is inside here something cool, okay? Uh, uh, this is made out of this old Chinese, uh, way Chinese people learn characters. They, they have this big felt pad with all these different squares. And um, basically uh, with these, squares, they put this tiny little thin piece of paper on it that you can see through it and they write their characters within the lines. Um, so within this is this, um, I think we might actually get someone, uh, uh, within this is a little thing that I made out of clay in my studio just recently in Jingdezhen, um, where you basic, well, it's a tiny little astronaut. And um, I mean, I like to make small things too. And what I say to people is actually it sits on the edge of things. And um, basically I say, you know, put it in your desk or put
put it someplace because you sh should dream big. Shoot for the stars. Um, kind of corny, but hey, we all need to hear it sometimes. Um, okay, that's it. A pleasure meeting you, um, and I hope to, um, some of you, uh, meeting you at the, uh, at the show at the Smithsonian this summer. All right, bye-bye.